The majority of Americans want Obamacare repealed, but the liberal media continue to promote it. They're pushing a left-wing agenda and calling it news. It's time the liberal media tell the truth. Go to tellthetruth2010.org and join the fight. Good afternoon. It's Friday, November 5th. I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com with a look at some of the stories that we have for you today. But today, we're going to do something different. We're going to enlist the help of the wisdom of Mr. T. Animal tells me you are here wasting our money. That's right. Mr. T doesn't like money wasted, but the way the federal government is handling the economy, it's a certainty that it will go bankrupt. That's according to John Allison, who for two decades served as chairman and CEO of BB&T Bank. In 20 or 25 years, the United States goes bankrupt. It's a mathematical certainty. Uh, it reminds me very much of that story I told you about Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. We were running the numbers and Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae went bankrupt. We got there. In 20, 25 years, the United States goes bankrupt. Now, countries don't go bankrupt the way companies do. We don't, they don't file bankruptcy. They usually hyperinflate. They print a bunch of paper money, or they become third world economies like Argentina. Uh, unless we change direction. Check out the online with Terry Jeffrey show for all of the details. You can be what you want to be, brother. All you got to do is believe. Inspirational words from Mr. T, perhaps inspiring Republican Susana Martinez. She's won New Mexico's gubernatorial race and is the first female Hispanic governor in the United States. She achieved this by running as a conservative, vowing to boost security along the southwest border. In a state that is more than 40% Hispanic, Martinez took 54% of the vote on Tuesday. You can learn more about her and her platform in Edwin Mora's story. I'm gonna give me something to eat. You can, Mr. T, but don't expect to find a toy in your Happy Meal. The Center for Science and the Public Interest said Thursday it plans to go ahead with its lawsuit against McDonald's to ban children's Happy Meals, which include free toys. Now, this follows San Francisco's decision to become the first major U.S. city to pass a law regulating the practice of giving away free toys with restaurant meals for children. It seems that parental choice is not on the menu. It's okay. And it? No. All right, if you want more information without the wit and wisdom of Mr. T, I'm Peter Fool! Click around and stay informed right now on CNSNews.com.